hi guys you're welcome back to my channel in today's video tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how you can add a payment method to your bitget account you're going to learn how you can add your bank details your bank account number to your bitget account so that you can be able to receive money and funds whenever you're doing p2p adding a payment method or linking your bank account to bitget is a very important step when you're doing your p2p so that you can be able to receive your money and funds so guys i'm going to be showing you guys that it's very easy just make sure you hang on to the end of this video to get it all and also if this video is helpful to you please consider liking subscribing and leaving a comment as that will help grow this channel so guys let's get started so guys now the first step you have to take now is to tap on your bitget app to open it so let me do that right away so guys once your bitget app opens up and you've logged into your account the next step now you have to take is to tap on the menu icon at the top left corner you can see it there so let me tap on it So guys, now the next step you have to take now is to scroll downward. So let me do that. Let me scroll downward. Then what you have to do next now is to tap on where you can see P2P. You can see the P2P icon there. So let me tap on it right away. So guys, now the next step you have to take now is to tap on the three horizontal dots at the top right corner. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it. So guys, now after that, what you have to do now is to tap on the first option which is written payment methods. You can see it there. So let me tap on it. So guys, under this payment methods, what you have to do now is to look downwards, you're going to see where it is written add. What you have to do now is to tap on it, so let me do it. So guys, now under this add a payment method, what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written bank transfer. You can see it there, so let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see here is the next step. So what you have to do here now is to add your bank transfer details. You can see you have to add your bank name, which is the name of your bank. You also have to add your bank account number and also your iBand. You also need to add your bank branch and the last one, your card number. So guys, these are the bank details, your transfer details that you need to add right here. So guys, now you can see the first one there. My name is already there. You can see this automatically there because I've actually done my verification on BitGet. I have done my identity verification. That's why they have my name in their database. What I have to do now is to impute my bank name, my account number in brackets, IBAN. I need to add my bank branch and my card number. So guys, let me go ahead now to do that. But guys, before I go ahead now to impute all these details, let me get to explain them. So guys, now for my name, you can see, you have to make sure that your name is exactly the name that you have on your bank account. Make sure the name on your bank account is exactly the name on your BitGet account. They have to tally. Let me tap on that notice icon there at the top. You can see where the arrow is pointing at it. Let me tap on it. That's an important information. Let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see what's written there. Reminder. Make sure your name is consistent with your payment information. So guys, now you can see the name on your BitGet account should be the same with the one on your bank account. Then let's go back to the next one, which is bank name. Bank name like UBA, United Bank of Africa, um, Access Bank, First Bank, whichever bank you're using, just impute the name right there. Then let's go back to the next one, which is bank account number. What you have to do is to impute your bank account number. Then for the iBand, if you want to get your iBand, you can go to the bank physically to any bank that is closer to your side. If your bank is closer to your side, just go over there, ask them for the iBand, iBand number. They are going to give you, then you impute it. And also guys, in case you don't have the time to go to any physical bank, you can just browse out the customer service phone number of the bank you're using. Just get your customer service number, get the number, they can call them, they can ask them for an iBand. They will either call out the iBand number for you or they will send it to your email address or your phone number. So guys, that's how you can do it. And also if you're registered on online banking, if you're using your bank's online banking platform and also mobile banking app, you can as well get your IBAN number and also you can get your IBAN number from your bank statement. It's usually at the top of your bank statement. So guys can get that and impute it. Then over to the next one, which is bank branch. Just impute the branch of the bank which you bank with. Bank branch usually tallies with the location of the bank. So the street or area where the bank is found, you're going to get the branch name. Just write the branch name, the bank branch. Then for count number, you impute your card number, your ATM card number. Just go ahead to impute it. So guys, after you've done this now, you can go ahead to tap on confirm. So guys, let me go ahead now to impute all of these details. So guys, now you can see I've imputed my details, I've imputed my bank name, my account number. I didn't impute my IBAN because I'm really confused about that. Maybe I'm going to go over to my bank to get it. I don't have it now as it stands now. As I'm making this video, I don't have my IBAN number. Then for the bank branch, I've imputed it. Then for my card number, I'm going to leave that um, empty. I don't want to impute it. Then after you're done imputing all of this information, you tap on confirm. So let me tap on confirm right away. So guys, now you can see security verification. This is the next step. 
you can see codes has been sent to my email address and also my mobile phone number so let me go and get it right away and paste it here let me get it real quick so guys now you can see i've inputted the codes so let me tap on confirm wow guys can i see i've added the payment method you can see there bank transfer you can see my name you can see the name of my bank united bank for africa you can see my account number there you can see my bank branch name so guys now i've been able now to add my bank details to my bitget and also guys in case you want to add another bank account what you have to do now is to tap on add right there you can see there once you tap on add you'll be able to add another payment method so guys that's that is done so guys i've come to the end of this video and i believe i've been able now to show you guys how you can add your payment method how you can add your bank details and link your bank account to your bitget account so guys now i've been able now to show you guys how you can do this and i believe you got value from this if you did please consider liking subscribing and leaving a comment see you in the next upload bye peace